All right, so I found there's actually a bit more text if we get another, yet another loop. Or another dialogue thing. I don't think it's voice, so I don't think it's very important. I actually, I actually skipped it on accident, not knowing it was new. Uh, so I'm kind of reading it for my own benefit as well. Yeah, it's time to lose. Oh, hey, Song Gaming. It's time to lose to the Time Eater again. Is this... Let me just double check that the skin tone's alright. I had some issues with colors last time. That's right, Parker, we had issues. And they weren't your fault for once. For once. Oh, hi, Beam. You should be muted. I thought that auto-muted. Yeah, it looks fine on Beam. Hey, Torax! Looks fine on YouTube. Yeah, I think, I think we have fixed our... Uh, weird contrast or color space or whatever issue. Welcome back, everyone. That should be it. We visited every arrow we could. Indeed. You've been able to observe history that we lost across the eras. We shouldn't have to worry about history becoming erased for a while. For a while, huh? So does that mean we can take a break now? No way. We still have a big job to do. I know, I know. I'm just playing. I've got a feeling my body is gonna start wearing out, though. Historically, Neptune was never very productive. But she's actually been working very hard, up until now. That's right. You girls wear me out. At this rate, I'll be in retirement soon. When this is all over, I'll probably need to get my engine rebuilt. I know it. Don't worry. I'm gonna dismantle and clean the engine myself, part by part. Part by part? Uh, oh, so you're going to be handling all my parts, huh? Please be gentle with me, Iffy. Damn it, Nap. This is my bike we're talking about here. Oh, shut. I had a spicy subplot planned that some of our fans would have loved. No. <laughs> Same. You look very happy, Segami. Uh, oh, don't be silly. Are you nervous? Uh, which compiler heart for game is your favorite? If you mean like series, it's definitely the Neptunia series. Um, I'm. I, I would guess I would say Mega Dimension. That's right, Parker. They haven't really had a really solid hit aside from that. Like, a lot of their other games, like, they don't have the humor, and I don't really find Compile Heart games are very worth it without the humor. Like, um, the Curry God game, it's alright when it's being funny, but, uh, it's pretty plain roguelike otherwise. Um, it's cute, but, uh, you can't do much. It's not as good as Etrian Mystery Dungeon. And you can't, like, there's not too much, like, special going on in it. Yes, hello, Parker. So you're just gonna claw my knee. I give you pets and you claw my knee. Thank you. Yes. Ow, don't do that. Yeah, I, I was not too... I was really enjoying the first chapter of Destroyer Trillion. And then it turns out the game is, like, incredibly long. It's like the world's longest raising sim, and then it gets all harem-y after... I managed to pick the one character that wasn't harem in uh, Destroyer Trillion. I was like, oh, thank god, I thought this was harem trash. And I was just so glad, and it was so, like, emotional and not cheap, and it was like, oh wow, I'm really gonna like this game. And then I get to the second character, and there's a romance subplot. And then I get to the third character, and there's a romance subplot. And then there's the fourth and the fifth characters, and, and the last one is the main character's sister, so I, I don't have the heart to find out if there's a romance subplot there. Because knowing Japan, there, there probably is. <sighs> Exasperated sigh. Anyway, back to this. Yeah, my conversation with Iffy was supposed to make you laugh, not make you nervous. Honestly, harem stuff in general is why I don't really like, like, I'm super bleh on Mary Skelter, or whatever that thing is called, like... Uh, uh, like, the main character is this weird dude that is never in any of the promo art, and it's like, that's... That is sign number one that it is, you know, a harem thingy. 
I think they could make other good games like Neptunia, but uh, so far they haven't really done it in my opinion. It's kind of disappointing. Um, Monster Mon Pieces gameplay, the card battle stuff, was actually pretty good. But, um, really could have used better writing. And at the very least, they could have made the rubbing crap optional. Like, it's so incredibly not erotic and just very boring and grindy. It's like, I, I would pay a little bit more in-game, you know, play coins to uh, avoid doing it. You, this is not the time for pets, Parker. I'm doing streams. Parker wants many pets. But they do a pretty great job with the Neptunia series for their, you know, considering their budget. So, I can't complain about the status as a publisher too much. Can you be quiet? Don't worry Rude. about me. I was feeling a little out of it, but we really need to finish the job. I see. Well, whenever you're ready, let's go. All right. Next time we see the Time Eater, we're going to defeat it. Spoilers, no, we're not. <clears throat> Segami, are you ready? Oh, of course. Right. This will be the last time we fight this jackass. For the sake of the world, let's do this. <laughs> I'm getting so pumped. Let's go. So all the characters that you've, like, got the real versions of will add a little bit of the cutscene there. I'm so pumped! And Let's eventually, on the true ending, there's like a full, proper thing that happens, you know, dialogue scene. Leave this to me. My faith to let... Fastest way to lose to this guy is just do a bunch of charge attacks so he gets a bunch of attacks off. It's possible to beat him to four healing all of history, but, uh... This is monster. not a possible point yet. I, I, I'm gonna be pretty close on my main file, but this is something I'm planning to show a little bit of what was missed. Not yet. I can't give up. <laughs> sure, that like time explosion is supposed to be. Hey, John Two Dash. Um, what about Mugen Souls or Z? Oh, I hated Mugen Souls. Um, I, uh. I thought the game was going to be like Disgaea, but, uh, um, I think Mogan Zul's Z is supposed to be a lot better, but I don't know how much better. But, um, I don't know. The Chibi look never really, you know what's funny? Um, Chibis, I don't find, do very well in 3D unless it's, like, really high resolutions. So, like, the low-res Chibis, like, especially on, like, Vita's games and stuff, like, you can barely make out any freaking details. And, like, I don't know why they do that. I I don't mind Chibis, but I generally prefer the 2D Chibis. Like, um, oh, Pixel Princess has amazing Chibis. Let me show you this. Um, 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 Pixel Princess Blitz. Let's find some of... Let's find some of these chibis. These are these are the highest quality chibis. Uh, this pixel art and non-pixel art chibis. But here we here we go. Oh wait, that's that's not a. This is totally not related to what we're seeing. But here, um, I forget her name. But that's the princess in Pr Pixel Princess Blitz. And let's find some other. Um, I think this is the wrong Twitter account. There's a lot more pics somewhere. But look at the look at the pixel art. Oh damn it! No, give me this. It's so freaking cute, and and this. See the 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 freaking oh that's the wrong file format. Um, I don't know. Three D chibis just have nothing on this for me. Like, it, it just misses out on all the cute and just looks dumb. Uh, it, it has to be very. It has to be, ch chibis, ironically, have to be, you know, decently detailed. Like, you have to get the good features, but, uh, yeah, let's, let's get rid of these. I don't entirely mind chibis. Like, they can be super cute, but in games, I've found them very rarely to be endearing. They're okay in, uh, like I mentioned before, um, what was that called? Uh, Etrian Mystery Dungeon. <sighs> But the 2D art in that game is still better than the 3D. We're back here, huh? 
It's nice that the game brought us back to this point, but <clears throat> what in the world is going on? Have you seen Ginkai Toki 7 Pirates OMG? I think it's a very bad game. I've seen little it's and bits of it. <clears throat> I've seen the Neptunia cast, like, crossover dress-up thing, and that's probably going to be the best thing coming out of the game. <clears throat> Lack of detail is kind of ironic given the point of a chibi to exaggerate features. Yeah, it's like, I don't know how to describe it exactly, but it, it, chibis need to be clean and well-defined. <clears throat> and like, low-res 3D art does not do that well. Like, let me find let me find a picture of what I'm talking about. Um, let's find that Curry God game. Um, I mean, it doesn't look terrible, but, like, you can tell it's not really... Like, a 2D version would look a lot better. Um, here we go. This is the Curry God game I was talking about. Oops. No, chat, you stay right there. Out of the way. Here we go. See, like, compare that to, um... To a roguelike that is using 2D chibis. Um... Compare that to, this is Toho Genso Wanderer. Compare that, you know, the, the, compare this to this, you know, a slight upgrade. I mean, this is 1080p, so I mean, that is, you know, this would look better in, in you know, 1080p, but that's, that's part of the problem. Like I was saying, it kind of, you need decent detail on the chibis, or it just looks bland. <clears throat> Oh god, Duke Nukem 3D World Tour is up for pre-purchase. Oh yeah, isn't that kind of... I don't know. I don't know about that. I don't really need to play more Duke Nukem anyway. I saw some of the redit works they did for the pixel, the the textures, and it's not... it's... eh. Then again, I, I personally played Chocolate Doom, so I don't really... I'm not too into the, you know, the retouching on stuff like that. It's just never gonna work right. I mean... The geometry is like flat squares. You really can't remaster it. Like, it's not like, like say a pixel art game that you rebrush into you know high de high quality 2D art. You can't really do that unless you're totally remaking everything with you know, yeah, um, <clears throat> um, everything's giant polygonal squares. Got his black card at bad chibis. I don't know. I don't think it was too bad. Let's look that one up again. I think they look okay for the, you know, for the system, but they're so small. <laughs> they look better in the cutscenes, but, uh, eh. <clears throat> I just prefer Chibis to be 2D in general. You tell me. Also, we need to move faster, Nep. Why? What's the rush? Because I'm sure she's going to fall from the sky pretty soon. <clears throat> yeah, we already saw that part. I think this part is new, though. Because... Yeah, after this loop, this bit stops happening. I know this because I actually did a third loop in the file where I was doing all the side quests on. It's so annoying we have to keep doing this over and over. Isn't there some shortcut function we can use? Such a thing exists, I'd love to use it. It's called the square button. Oh, I've been waiting for you. Hey, I have Segami and Neptune. Those are your names, right? Huh? Oh? How do you know us? I thought you weren't supposed to remember. You are correct. I don't actually remember a thing about any of you. Then how? I was given the details of the situation by that group over there. What group? Hi there. I'm glad to see you've all arrived safe and sound. Ugh. I got so bored waiting around for you girls. Why are you y'all here? Everyone here is being held in this area temporarily, as their respective areas are still quite unstable. Oh right. I remember you talking about this before, I think. Correct, so even if you all turn back time, they'll be located in this library regardless. Yep, what she said. Whoa, this is great! It feels like our game just got a lot more powerful! <laughs> it's pretty helpful, really. We'll be able to speed things up now. Let's aim to clear this completely. Even though that it was exactly like that. How many loops do you have to do in a run? Technically zero. Um, in practicality, you'll probably do three or more. If you're going for a high completion percent, and if you want to do less than three, you'd actually need to grind more than if you did more loops. Like, there's no reason to not do loops at all. 
Like, the only quote-unquote bad thing is having to watch that cutscene, and you can just press the square button. And if you're playing a Neptunia game and not watching the cutscenes, I, I don't know what's wrong with you, and I don't know why you play Neptunia games. Archie Comics, Sonic Feet, not that again. What's the deal with the prince Pixel Princess? Let me let me find a link for you. Um, it's on green light now. Oh, it has a website. Of course it has a website. Everything has a website. I have a website. Um, yeah, I'll just send out that link. I'm not sure that'll actually send to YouTube, so I'll manually put that in YouTube. There you go. YouTube hates links, and I don't know why. Um, anyway, so my team is right around the level I beat Saturn in my Japanese playthrough, so I should be fine, uh, especially since I have like better understanding of what the crap is going on uh, this time. Right, I think I can buy some better armor? Yeah, pearl armor now. Um, is the cord? Oh, yeah, the cord is even worse, so... Upgrade everybody with a cord first. Um, cord. Yeah. I just go for whatever kind of evens out the stats. Generally, you'll be hit more often with vitality attacks, you know, physical attacks. But, uh... You also don't want to take, like, a billion D damage from, uh... from, uh, magic attacks, either. Oh, dang. Oh, dang, that price tag. I think that is actually the highest... Well, maybe not. Yeah, I can't afford that yet. Dang, we got some expensive gear. Oh, wait. Let's see if I get anything better. Proof of Eternal Love increases your luck and tech by 300. Or two, 250, rather. Dang. Even luck. Said to bring even the dorkiest, darkiest, darkest, and sexiest wishes to life. This is tech. I don't need that. Arch anklet. Um. Oh, dang. Oh, it's only 100. I think I'll just go with whatever gives me the most health. Which I think is still the Ring of Essence, unfortunately. I don't think you get better than this. So yeah, let's just get that for everyone that doesn't have one. It's boring, but it's it's safe. And all my the rest of my money goes to damn more. Damage, I guess. What is the minimum level you need to beat Perfect Chaos? Um, it's kind of... <clears throat> It's kind of a factor of... It's a combination of making him weaker and making yourself stronger. Um, I would say if you get to level seven or 45, then beat the other all the hard girls and play you know the true ending route, you'll be able to do it. Um, I don't know, it's not really something you need to worry about too much. If you want to beat him without doing anything else, like without... Um, fixing time at all, you'd probably want to be level 99. Which is actually not too hard to get to once you're at this point. Um, so... Let's go with Game Gear first, I guess. We're definitely gonna fight Pludia last. Oh yeah, so this robot actually... Um... There's a couple of quests that continue through the different eras, and one of them is that robot who's like, wait a minute, I remember you. And so you fix him in all of the different eras, and uh, eventually from those quests tend to give you like some special key item, or you know, something important, or like a formation. So the side quests are pretty well rewarded. Oh, I, died again. Oh. I hate when that happens. My battery just died. Damn it! <laughs> Everyone Poor looks game so gear. defeated. I don't even think they're enjoying these games at all. Oh man, I want to play games out in the sun. Are you insane? If you do that, you'll be caught in a heartbeat. Why do I have to feel like this just because I like the game? Maybe this is all the fault of the goddess. 
Because those goddesses chose to pick fights long ago, the people of today have to suffer. That voice. Who just said that? Uh, what is that? Here? That no way. So no, that so wasn't so what did they say? Kick their ass, Game Gear. You shouldn't be talking so negatively about the opponents. That might cause another conflict. We've already talked about this before. What is that? Well, I don't be reasonable. Kick people's asses. What? Huh? But it's the truth, right? If they weren't here, we wouldn't have any conflicts. Yeah, if they were gone, we wouldn't have to be afraid of the gamer hunters anymore. I said to stop. She sounds serious. Oh, you're in trouble. Uh, yes. Oh, all right, all right, cool. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm not sure I've ever wanted to play games out in the sun. I actually did in the... Um, with the Game Boy, it was like one of the easiest ways to play because it was the, uh, if you've never played a Game Boy, you pathetic youngsters, um, it doesn't have a backlight and, uh, you had to, like, bring your own light source and it was actually really easy to play in the sun, I think, um, it's been about 15 years since I've done anything like that, um, I remember playing my. I pr remember playing Pokemon outside, so I'm pretty sure it works. Did I miss something after the Iris incident? Not really. That was about the end of my last stream. This is pretty much the next. Ah uh... oh, no, it's doing that thing again. I thought they fixed that. So you can just grind and beat the eater with just IF and Segami. Uh, you could if you were completely insane. But what makes a lot more sense is to do a uh, New Game Plus and then fight the the uh, Eater. I'm actually not really sure how well you would do like in like a single, like a non-New Game Plus with just IF and Segami. Um, you would be max class level 20. Um, there's only so much, there's only so good you could even be and that would be pretty bad. It was rather hard to play in direct sunlight, was it? It's It's been a long time. I think I might, like, play sort of in the shade. I don't know. I think the screen was reflective, but you did need light directly on it. But, like, there was a lot of, like, twisting things to get the angle just right. Something it wasn't pleasant. Here, causing the people to become bitter. Sly. Their points are valid. I can sense something. Is Game Gear's doll supposed to be a reference to the system? I think so. I think it's like, I don't know. Maybe it's her battery pack or something. And at this rate, I won't be able to suppress their voices for long. You always beat them up. Magic com mommy mama what you used to be like I don't know why the chirper names are so downgraded like this used to be like R4 mama or something everyone's asking about the blob the game gear does have quite a booty to it though so I think that might be why and the thing on her hoodie is like this radio attachment that the game gear had here, let me show you the glory. It's got a TV tuner. Oh, dang. I don't know how to have a freaking TV tuner. Oh, wow, this is huge. Um, transform. There you go. Good old Game Gear. This is what her hat is. It's the TV tuner thing. I'm not sure what the bear or, like, the, the, the dude on the back is. Yeah, I don't see any... I don't know, maybe it's... I don't know what this is, but maybe it's this? Some kind of adapter. I have no idea what some of this is. This is why I wanted Sick to come here, but he, he's never here for these streams. Alright, let me throw my link in the Discord. I forgot about that. Discord, er... It's supposed to have... But yeah, I, I, I really don't know. I don't really know too much about obscure Sega stuff. I had a Dreamcast and a Genesis, and that's about it. So referring to Hard Girls, I said they voice blend. Sega me sounds mean spirit. Sega me is supposed to be kind of rude, though. Sega Channel. No, Sega Channel was something else. Sega Channel let you download full games on... I think it was some kind of 
Genesis thing? It was pretty early for its time. Uh, I think it was after Satellaview, so it wasn't that early, but, uh, you know. Games are going out of style. This isn't the game. The era of creators will come. You can't play games forever, you know. That's a lie, and you know it. I want my son to get a job in a nice company. Also, most of the Chirper events, it doesn't explicitly say it, but almost all of the Chirper events uh, unlock a mission back here. Ah, oh, it's a trash lowly! Kill it! Get out of here, trash lowly! You get out of here! You better sink! Get out of here, trash lowly! Nobody likes your style. Yeah, she's cooking mama. I. Uh, that's why she has the mama at the end of her name. And yeah, that was Trash Lily from Dra Boat Trash Lilies, the game. Attachments for radio, TV, and something that would let you play Master System games. Uh huh. That must be a huge thing to let you play Master System games. Like, the cartridges were as big as the console. Alright, here's yet another one of the broken robot things. I'm not sure where we get Mithril Ore. I, I was very confused by this in Japanese. I think it might unlock later. <clears throat> um, I think it might actually be tied to observation level. Because there's some stuff, at least... <clears throat> Wait, what? I can't continue the Game Gear thing? Oh, wait, no. Yeah. It, uh, I don't know why it does that. You have to exit out and get back in to get a new quest if you just turn something in that unlocks another one. Is that all of it? Yes, thank you all so much. That was way easier than I thought. Is this all a goddess does? Well, hey, it's because I'm here too. Two goddesses means double the speed. You don't have hands. All you did was roll us here, crap bike. I got us here as swift as the coursing river. Give me a break. I wish you'd put that much effort into getting out of my bike already. Um, there isn't much I could do right now. The only jobs I could do are plain and minor ones. I know you have to stay in hiding, but you're a goddess. You should be doing something about the situation here. Oh, yeah, I know I have to do something, but... No need to be depressed about it. So what else do we need to do? There's nothing left. We finished it all. Thanks for your help, everyone. I see. Well, that went by much quicker than I would have anticipated. And what should we do now? We can keep investigating or head back. Do you want to come to the Basilicom? The Basilicom? Yes. It isn't much, but it's a place where the citizens who place their faith in me can gather and game. Huh. I'd like to see that. Me too. I'm pretty tired from working, so let's take a break and check it out. <laughs> Is that a talking bike? I know who's new to the stream. Hey, Cookie Who. Yeah, it's a talking bike. I guess we'll take you up on that offer, Nepgear. Hello, everyone. I'm back. Oh, it's Miss Nepgear. Thank you for all your work, Miss Nepgear. Welcome back. So these are Nepgear's supporters. It doesn't seem like they're weirdos. <laughs> As your big sister, I'm a little relieved. <clears throat> no, what do you mean go by to the weirdos? Wii. Actually, I don't think I want to know. <laughs> they're acting so familiar with a goddess. That seems strange. Hello, I pretty period pretty F. Nepgear? Well, she is my sister, so she must be. I don't think so. I mean, I'm not all that popular, really. There are so many people here, and yet she's acting so modest. Wow. <laughs> I admire you, Nepgear. They just saw the chaos forms. I, I don't like those. They look dumb. They're like weird edgelord, like, deviant art redesigns. And it kind of makes me worry for, like, what... Well, I mean, it's probably what I should have expected from the, you know, a free-to-play card game in general, but, uh, I don't know. I, I don't think I'll be too enamored with that particular game. Stop! You'll make me blush! Hmm, this actually doesn't seem like a very large group. Uh, well, um, 
It's not like everyone is gathered here right now. Of course, I suppose even if all of them were here, it wouldn't be that much of a difference. Sega me, don't be too mean to her, okay? She's pretty naive, you know. I'm not being mean. I was just speaking my mind, that's all. Who are those people? The ones that came with Miss Nepgear. Maybe they're her friends. She's talking to them pretty closely. Are you sure they're her friends? It sounded like they were making fun of her. <laughs> yeah. Man, Miss Nepgear can be so weird and unreliable sometimes. Even her friends make fun of her. <laughs> Poor Nepgear. But I like those quirks about her. It makes her relatable, you know? It's nice she has friends, I guess, but... They're riding one ugly-ass bike. <laughs> it's the color of a damn eggplant. Are you kidding me? Hell no, that is completely unacceptable. Whoa, are people talking about me right now? Well, I can't help that I look so cool. People just can't resist my aura. Uh, I actually think it's because you look like... that that people talk about you. Maybe they're not as bad as I thought they might be. <laughs> no, not really. Damn, I'm sick of this. I can't stand it. Hey, calm down. I mean, come on, aren't you guys frustrated too? I mean, we're a bunch of dudes huddled together playing games in a dimly lit room. Kinky. Stop it. You're making me sound so pathetic. I don't want to hear this. No, man, let's talk about it because I'm sick of this shit. I totally agree with you. Yeah, let's set him straight. It seems like someone's starting some trouble. Everyone seems really frustrated. Excuse me, no fighting, please. Yo, Miss Nepgear, <clears throat> how long do we have to game in secret? Uh, how long? <laughs> like how he asks that like she's like his freaking eighth grade teacher. Teacher, when can we play outside? We should be free to play these games in broad daylight. We should be proud. But broad Isn't daylight would reflect off the screen. Most people end up doing in a dark room by themselves, though. Takes one to know one, Ify. Well, even if you're playing in your room, you should still have a light on. It's not really good for your eyes. Um, I apologize for the lack of power available right now. Stop! Everyone, stop! Miss Nepgear isn't at fault here. Oh, come on, I know that, but we're not doing anything bad either, right? Of course not! There's nothing bad about gaming. Nothing at all. So it is true. The followers of the Sega Hard Girl are the real enemies here. What? Huh? But what are you talking about? There's no way Game Gear could be at fault for this. Shut up! Outsiders stay the hell out of this! You know nothing! Outsiders? That's so mean. I'm not an outsider. Shut it. We don't need to complicate the situation. Look, we did nothing wrong. They're the ones giving games a bad reputation. It's their fault, right? They shouldn't be playing other consoles. Isn't that right, Miss Nepgear? What? Well, um... Uh... Nepgear, you need to deny that and put an end to this nonsense. But... but... I don't understand what's going on. Squash this now! Don't let it get out of hand! Just because this is a side game, does that mean you can use the F and S word? Um, no, it's the ESRB ratings, um... You can say shit all you want in a teen-rated game, apparently. I actually learned this with Neptunia Victory, because it gave Blanc quite a potty mouth. Um, it's only the F word that uh, gives you mature rating, or uh... Same for movies, kind of. Actually, I'm not sure if shit... I think it's one of those things you can say, like, once. You get one F word in a PG-13. I'm not sure about shit. I think it might be a little bit more lenient. That sounds irresponsible. I need to make an informed decision about something like this. Your sister seems to be a little confused. How do you feel about it? Oh, I don't know. But Nepgear being all wishy-washy is... Kind of cute. <sighs> Nep's just escaping from reality. Well, I guess it's better than her butting in and making it worse. <laughs> I can't take this anymore. Let's just destroy him. Then all the others will finally accept that we play games. 
Yeah! I agree! <laughs> That's how you agree. You yell, you yell I agree. This is what happened in the past. Wow. I see. You can philosophize about it all you want later. Nepgear is in trouble. Did they drop an F-bomb in Conquer? I don't know, actually. I have not actually played much of Conquer's Bad Fur Day. It was an M-rated game, though, so I think technically they could. But... At the time, that was a very risque game, and, like... I'm not sure if they could have gotten away with it back then, but maybe they did. I don't know. Right! We need to help her! But how are we gonna do that? To beat some people up! Come on! Let's do this! It's because of them that we're wasting mountains upon mountains of double-A batteries! <laughs> Poor yeah! Video. We won't lose to these evil people who make us waste power! Whoa! Everyone, please, calm down! Yeah, I don't think they're gonna listen to you right now, Nepgear. Oh, Nepgear, you're the goddess, right? Then act like one and defuse the situation. Look, maybe you just have to let them calm down a bit. Actually, that's probably not gonna happen. It's all Nipgear's fault. Her and her wicked believers are ruining everything. I can't take this anymore. We need to destroy them all. <laughs> <laughs> Calm this down. Isn't good. I just realized I'm streaming at 30 frames per second game at 60 FPS again. Whatever. The Conqueror's rain rating have gone down the interim years. I'm not sure about that. Though I can't really think of anything that's for sure an M rating in that game. But that's mostly because I haven't played it. That probably is. I've decided to master the art of being plain so I can live up to my name. On a side note, I'm really good at zesting tangerines. Is that too plain of a skill? Here's Ash. What a tough battle. It's a big world. I got served. You got served. It wouldn't be Ash if he wasn't losing every important battle ever. Poor terrible Ash. Let's just make sure I have everyone. Unfortunately, I'm at the point where I'm starting to hit level level caps for quest things, and I don't quite have the. Actually, I could probably take down the turtle and get some class ups if I wanted to, but I think I'll just finish the story. Oh, and a neat thing I learned, um... So, Uzume's class here, she can actually force... she can change turn order. She can... she has a skill for 300 SP that forces a character to get their turn next, which is really neat. I really like some of the... they have some really interesting skills that are, like, way beyond, um, the standard stuff. So, if you're gonna grind to level 99, obviously, this, um, EXP boost is pretty important. Um, with EXP boost, all of the characters and everything unlocked, um, you should be able to grind to 99 from about level, you know, 45 or so, within under an hour, I think, with, like, maximum, like, with all your ducks in a row. I think it might have started, like, more at level 50 or 60, but it really doesn't take too long if you know exactly what you're doing you have everything unlocked. Which is how grinding should work, in my opinion. There should always be ways to accelerate grind. So what is the DLC in this game? Uh, I severely doubt there's a new character DLC. Um, there is a free DLC for um, viewing... Stop the Believers! We're gonna have Inquisition in, on your asses. Um, I had enough gear. Um, let me save first. There is, um, you can download a free, it's like a new ending scene. I think it's just like, it's like a hard girls in swimsuits or something. Cause that's what the, the Neptunia one is. It's just them at the beach. And Uzume in this weird, like, um, Jingo military bikini for some reason. Sega hardware is our enemy. <laughs> Everyone, please stop. Let's go home. What's weird is like, are, are is are the goddesses not Sega hardware? I guess they're Planet Tune hardware, but still, it's kind of weird. I do like that this. I really like that this time zone, 
time zone. This era has a plot line that isn't just rawr, we fight because we fight because we're mean and we do stuff. Like, all of the other eras are just kind of like, yeah, we're, we're fighting. Um, I kind of appreciate that in Dreamcast era, they've just forgotten why they're fighting. They're just fighting because they're fighting. But in the Saturn and Mega Drive eras, I mean, I guess Plutia is a good reason to want to fight somebody. But the, uh... So this is the Nintendo vs. Sega? I wouldn't really say that. I mean, Planet Platoon is definitely Sega, not Nintendo. I don't really think... I don't really think there's any real Nintendo references Hurry. here. Well, I mean, there's we some, like, non-story Nintendo references. Hello, Parker. I'm trying, but they won't back down. Yes, hello. Lots of people in this era hated gaming, right? If these gamers cause a scene, it won't really help the cause. They're so pissed off, I don't think they're considering the consequences at all. Oh, what should I... Huh? Ah! The goddess is our enemy! Defeat the goddess and the believers! I hear voices coming from over there, too. Oh, no! Isn't that a little too coincidental? <laughs> Do you think they're dealing with a similar situation on their side? Hey, there they are! They've come out! Are you ready to die, you fool? It's your time to die! You bastard! I will end you! <sighs> no, 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 don't! Quiet! Whoa. They stopped. That was really impressive, Game Gear. So cool. <sighs> Nep Gear, you've got a lot to learn. I'm just glad it stopped. Now. I just realized, how does that zipper come down? She's got... She's got this, like, plate thing in the way of the zipper. There's no zipper there. Like, how does this happen? Does she, like pull off the plate to pull the zipper down? This is complicated. Pretty sure the goddesses could kill the civilians with a sneeze. Pretty much. But I mean, we have to have the dramatic tension. Oh, hello, flame. I'm a little friends. shocked. Is your camp going through the same thing? Yes. Thank you again for putting an end to this. Just casually it's too holding early some to fire here. For anything. This piece is fleeting. If they get riled up again, I don't think yelling will stop them. There's so many people. I really don't want to think about having to fight them all. We have a Sega hard girl and a goddess here. These two need to do something, and fast. Hey, we actually have two goddesses if you include me. You don't count. <laughs> what should we do, Game Gear? I can't think of anything. Wait, she has two zippers. How did these clothes work? How do I pause? She, she has two zippers! One at the bottom and one at the top. How does that... How do you... What? I don't think she can come out of that thing. I mean, you just pull it off. It's a hoodie, but but still. If all we need to do is stop these people, I have an idea. R really? Hmm. This other girl is so much more reliable than Nepgear. I'm having some mixed feelings about her now. <sighs> Too bad. She's your sister, Neptune. You're stuck with her. I can't say there isn't any risk involved, though. Do you still want to know? I don't mind. As long as everyone will be safe. So, what's the plan? How can I help? Uh, the Game Gear isn't really that directly related to the Genesis. It's more like a, it's a portable Mega Drive. Or did you say Mega Drive? Oh, you said Mega Drive, but yeah. Maybe it's a pullover and the zippers are decorative, I guess. All right. Everyone, listen up. This game gear? What? Or I mean Why master have to system. To the enemy? I always forget the Japanese names for the stuff. It's it's Genesis to me. But yeah, it's the master system. It's the it's the it's an 8-bit console, the game gear. It looks a lot better than the uh, NES. Like, even the Master System looked better than the NES in some ways. Um, it had a lot more colors going on at once. I think you still had three colors per sprite, 
but it had like 15 on screen at once or something. And I think NES was a bit more limited. I, I forget the exact details. Sick would know this, but he's not here. He has to ruin everything. Shut it for a second, will ya? You do not have to fight. I will resolve this conflict by battling the goddess one on one. Most people take off their hoodies, but not me. I was born in the hoodie, molded by it. Yes. Yes, we will battle one on. Wait, what? What are you trying to pull? What's the point of you two fighting like that? Makes sense to me. <sighs> Why? Okay then, let's start. You just want to fight. What? Look at her. Start. Look at her. Look at. Hold on. Hold on. Uh, need to hide chat for a second. Ah, oh, no, it's an SVG! How dare you? Um, I need a better image. Come to VLC Media Player in the next 15 minutes if you want an ass kicking. You said you didn't mind as long as they stay safe and we stop them. I know what I said, but why do- We can't stop the battle, so the least we can do is bring a sacrifice to the people. <laughs> hey, I, don't, I don't think that's how it works. We will fight to the death. Are you ready? What is wrong with wait, this hard, the hard girls? Wait, before that, everyone, if I lose here today, please, listen to Game Gear. What? There's literally no point to any of this. The same goes for my followers. This is important, everyone. If I lose, you will place your faith in the goddess. But we can't play any other consoles. Undo this harmful way of thinking. You will accept any gamer from now on. Do I make myself clear? No, you can't just do that. Isn't there a way we can resolve this peacefully? This must be how history plays out, huh? I don't think I want to watch this anymore. Hmm, something's off. What do you mean? We already broke the but Temporal Prime Directive. Nepgear would say that. It's Nepgear. She would never willingly take an enemy's life. You've just met her. How do you know something like that? It's too much to explain. I just know. Oh? Well... Okay. Segami, Nep, let's get home at once. What? Go home? Yeah, hurry. We gotta go to the library before they start their battle. Well, my engine is always warmed up. Let's roll out! I'm not sure I follow literally anyone's about? logic right How now. How can we go back at such a critical moment? Take a look around, Segami. Are you gonna be able to stop this from happening? <sighs> well... Yes? Exactly. You can't. That's why we're going back. We'll come up with a game plan later. Hurry. Get on. I see. All right. Let's move, Nip. Hurry up, crap bike. Here we go! Was that a Transformers reference? Of course that was a Transformers reference. Um, all the characters in the library, is there a bigger chance to defeat the Time Monster? Uh, basically, yeah. Um... Your characters get stronger and like you can unlock your class level, you can do um you can equip more skills, you can there's a lot of stuff that you get more access to for your characters once you do the story. And it's good leveling in general. So there really isn't too much reason to fight the time eater. Oh. We got Nepgear's armor stuff. Okay. I completely forgot that was even a thing. I uh I guess I probably have your stuff, don't I? No? Okay. Do I have... Nope. Why do I only have Nepgear stuff? Oh, I have your Nazi outfit. And it's strong enough to use, unfortunately. I'm not sure why I suddenly get hers, but not the other. Like, I've beaten... Actually, there really aren't too many outfits for uh, Uzume, so I guess maybe that's why. 
Unfortunately, the hard girls have to remain on brand, so uh, they don't get any cosmetic items or anything. I'm gonna get myself a girlfriend. I'll take her upstairs and finally enter adulthood with her. I don't think you will. For a gain with a name, or for a guy with a name like mine, finding a girlfriend will be a dream. I do not know why I'm from the South, but it is probably related to why I cannot get a girlfriend. I made a secret base behind the door of the factory. It's of course a safe place for me to play all the games I want. My parents don't let me do anything. So yeah, having seen that event, the door in the warehouse is now open. I think. I tell my mom I'm studying at my friend's house, but I really just play games. I love the thrill of knowing I might get caught. Strange. Isn't that like an exhibitionism thing? I see, how mysterious. Why are you here? How did you get here? So this is the future world you're talking about. Wait, did we bring them here? What? Yep, I wasn't born in this era though. As you can see, it's a wasteland. Oh, did we bring them there? I'm... hold on. Wait, did we... What? Why do we have them here? Stream crashed, excuse me? I, I'm not sure they're supposed to actually be here right now. I'm a little confused. No point in sulking over the past. It just sounds funny when you say it like that. Wait, did other people crash? Whatever. I, I'll, I'll let this cutscene finish. It took so long, my controller turned off. <sighs> so like I said, we have a pretty big problem here. It'd be great if you could help us out. Sure. Count me in too. That was fast. Sarah had two kids in it. Good kids in it. How did we get here then? Did you guys finish our talk yet? Sister, I can't believe you can see my sister in bike form again. You just saw her like five seconds ago. I'm happy too. I guess they... This is so weird. So obviously they like survived their era and they're suddenly here, but... I don't think this is supposed to happen. I don't think this cutscene's supposed to happen here. I'm just, I'm just playing this for the VOD at this point. I don't think anyone can even hear me. I'm happy too. I never thought our sisters could live happily together again. Oh, I, uh, can you leave the maintenance of my sister to me? Sure, just don't break anything. Yeah, I promise I won't. My body felt a coolant shoot down my frame. Dot dot dot. I'm glad you're here, Game Gear. This is really mysterious. What? I have memories of being in such conflict with her. They don't feel very old, even. But all of the animosity just disappeared. Maybe it's just because you've jumped through a few eras. I feel like that's a poor explanation. I do too. Well, take this time to just be friends. I wish you could have done that in your own eras. Yeah, Nep Gear. Oh, Game Gear. Hey, what is it? I'll help you take the bike apart. Aw, oh, yes. Yeah, I can see you. Really? That's so nice of you. I think we're gonna take it apart completely. Wait, what? I thought you were gonna do maintenance on a complete rebuild. I'll start with the engine. Leave the transmission to me. Aw, oh, yes. You're to start from my most delicate areas. Oh no. Iffy, help me! Nepgear herself has joined! Oh! Game Gear herself has joined. We got Knight and Berserker. Well, I didn't expect to get them before their storyline completed. But yeah, this isn't working. I... I... I guess streams are cancelled until Medicom looks at my internet on fucking Monday, over a week after I called them is when they're going to be looking at it. Um, I would just I would just like to state that I'm currently streaming at 900 kilobits per second and it's still fucking dropping 40% of frames. This is ridiculous. This is... What the fuck? 